welcome good matins now is it possible that invasions could just get packs of dlc as a continuation similar to the mk mobile but do like subscribe to the bonus question follow me to future for more content so yes when it comes to obviously this season we have got characters that will still be coming we have packs of characters that are definitely going to be still coming for combat pack 3 but we also have this invasion season which has ended with Liu Kang as of right now. Now we do have Tower of the Time which I am hoping is going to keep evolving where it gives us gear, gives us other type of skins on there which it already does give skins but giving us gear pieces for characters brutalities and fatalities on here would be something really cool if they could do that and if it does become something similar to towers of time from mk11 with character towers for all the characters with own gear at the end of it that's very special and only for that would be fantastic now when it comes to obviously invasions though i do feel like there is a chance would they possibly ever give us invasions where it would only be specifically the invasion seasons we'd get no new characters but just keep updating seasons so basically invasions carries on but just like um the mortal kombat mobile how at one point they were just releasing like new story parts and they wasn't releasing anything new of like characters we just had the same characters that were in there after they all finished releasing but when it came to the story or something else being added onto an event that would always keep happening for this now could they do that with this if they move on to their next game and they're updating mortal kombat 1 but they're done with combat packs of characters would invasions or stuff being added to towers of time like new events and seasons that come would that be something that would be really cool for everybody i wouldn't mind it i think that would be good because at least then with invasions we get a whole new season with new um drawn animation stuff going on we also get new skins new gear pieces and we get added stuff in towers of time we might not get new characters but we do get a season where things get added into their gear palettes new brutalities new moves a new invasion season and a new event that will come from the um invasion season which would enact in towers of time and that would have a set time until that disappears or goes down and then reappears and whatnot i think that would be something really cool if they could do that because then i think it would keep mk1 going because we'd be like oh who's the next season the invasion season boss who's the next what's the next event for towers of time that's going to be with this invasion season anything is possible i know a lot of us would want a character with it as well but i don't think with when they get to a certain point like let's say after combat pack 3 i don't think they will be relying on combat packs anymore because they'll more than likely be moving on to the next game and that will probably release in like what 2026 or 7 or even 8 but when it comes to mortal kombat i think they do want to make this last for a very long time as ed boone has confirmed it's going to be the longest mk game they've ever done for um and with obviously no covid stuff going on and, that, and they can go on the work with this i think it will definitely be a winner and a no-brainer that in invasions and things that are, are going to definitely continue and probably go on a very 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 long time and if it does i think that would be a win-win because i don't think there's anybody who doesn't want it to continue and if it did continue in that format and that type of way i don't think it would be a problem because then it would keep mortal kombat 1 going it would keep us guessing of something new and like how invasions is basically them from a different timeline you can choose the invasion of whoever you want kung lao even one with Sonya Blade being the villain, if they could do that. But obviously, let me know. What do you think? Do you think they will be doing this for invasions? And will they definitely choose to make it so that we can get multiple invasion seasons coming after the game is long done with characters and combat packs? I think they could do and they should do. But do like, subscribe. This is your boy, Future Boy, and that's Future. Stay frosty, peeps. Peace.